Marta 13 here. I'm just gonna do a quick video. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me for like hints and tips on how to ride well. This is just, here you go. This is how to ride a motorcycle well. Keyword is well, because any, any idiot can ride a motorcycle. It's not that hard. You know, first time I ever rode a bike, I had, I, I had no training. I didn't do the MSF course. I didn't read any books on how to do it. I had nothing, zero. And I just, uh, oh God, buddy. Fucking retards. Fucking BMW. He's just fucking doing like no signal light either. He just, you know, he's obviously thinking, but like at least, like, why don't you move off the road and think? How about that? How about just move off to the side, complete fucking stop, hazard lights, think all you want. Don't just stop in the middle of a lane with no signal lights. No one knows what the fuck you're doing. So. And then this guy, what's he doing? Complete fucking stop on each corner. That's always good too. Come on. Yeah, you got a nice expensive BMW. Gas is on the right, man. What are those cops doing? I guess they're busting people for running this red, I guess. They run the red light to go up the road, they've got them. So yeah, like I was saying, if you want to ride, not just ride, but ride well, two things you need to do. Uh, number one is watch all of my videos five times. Number two, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, number two is uh, buy. Twist of the Risk 2 by Keith Code. It's a, a, a book on riding techniques, on how to body positioning and how to steer and how what you should do with your feet and this and that. And it's it's it's, it's really good. It's uh, the vast majority of my my racing my track riding skills come from that book. Or techniques, my track riding techniques. Anyways, so yeah, that's number two. Get the book, Keep Code, uh, Twist of the Wrist 2. And uh, number three would be track days. Get, get yourself, on, like after you've read that book and you've got a bike, get yourself on a racetrack. They say, at, at one, they say after spending one day on a racetrack, you improve your riding skill more than a month on the road. So, yeah. And if you know, and if it's your first time ever on a racetrack, it's probably even more severe. It's probably like, you know, your first day spent on a racetrack, you probably improve more than a year on the road. Because there are people that ride shittily, and they've been riding for years, you know. But I, don't, I think if you ride shittily, and then you go onto a, a racetrack, and you've got like an instructor or someone that's giving you pointers. And, I don't think by the end of the day you could still be shitty. I think by the end of the day you'd, you'd at least be like better than average, you know? And if you're average or okay to begin with, and you, then you do a top down on top of that, then, then look out. And yeah, track days are expensive. They cost, in most countries, they cost a couple hundred dollars, but realistically, like, you know, your helmet costs a couple hundred dollars too, you know, like, and, and a, a track day probably does more for safety with regards to preventative safety than, 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 you know, than a helmet does. A helmet actually does nothing preventative, unless it's a really bright one, like bright orange or something yellow. That, that, that's somewhat preventative. I, I, I read a magazine, there's an, uh, a magazine article about a guy, uh, a, ah, a guy who writes in a magazine, he, uh, he wears like a white helmet or a black helmet, solid black, and uh, and then he he wanted to see what would happen if he got like a bright yellow helmet or something, something for safety. So he went from like a solid black helmet to a bright yellow one, and he said he, he could like visibly notice the difference. Like cars just noticed him. Cars were getting out of his way. Cars were like cutting him off less. He from just him changing the color of his helmet, it improved the safety of his ride by quite a bit. My own, well, this is this is my vlogging helmet, which is just a, an ugly, shitty helmet that fits a camera well, and that's why I got it. Um, but my, my own helmet is like red, but in the past I normally go with black, 
be honest, but uh, I think in the future I'll try to stick with brighter red helmets. Anyways, I'm talked out. So, yeah. Read some books on uh, riding techniques. Watch some of my how-to videos, of course. And other than that, try to get yourself out on a track. Even if you got, you know, like even if you got yourself a little 250 or something, just, just a 250 is the best bike to be on a racetrack with because you can lean that thing over, you can get your knee down, you can, you can get the best, coolest-looking lean angles on on, on the lighter, smaller bike.